All right, welcome back to my WWF LJN Customs page channel. <laughs> I always do that. Uh, this time around, I'm going to turn this beautiful Iron Sheik into a Nacho Libre. Beautiful, isn't he? Nice markered up. All right. All right, here's my progress on Nacho Libre. Used epoxy to cover his whole face, which I'm going to cut out later and then sand down. Just started some of his colors to see how it would go using a pull blue. And flag red is my go-to on this. I think those are pretty good colors for him. And I epoxied his big old belly. Um, I had to put that on. And I think it looks pretty good. Not too bad for my first big belly. I mean, other than my own that I've made naturally. But anyways, uh, so I'm going to let this dry. I'll work on the top a little bit. And then uh, we'll go from there. Next step of Nacho Libre. Got his belly on painted. I need to smooth it out just a little bit. I need to sand some of these lines down here, but <laughs> this doesn't look too bad for a big old belly. Um, just keep putting more and more coats on. And I did cut his eye holes in his mask, which I kind of need to uh, uh, just kind of balance. You see how one kind is a little more angular than the other. So I'll need to fix that up. And then uh, it's just kind of like red lines uh, around the face. And then it's just, uh, I got to find a cape. Got to find somehow to make a cape. I've got that, and I just need to figure out how to do it. So probably oh, about an hour or so more on him, and he'll be finished. All right, here's the final product for Nacho Libre. Colors that I use for Nacho were Pool Blue and Flag Red, as well as White on his boots. Uh, not a difficult figure, just a little bit of sculpting with the epoxy on his big old belly. And then on his mask, and then my mother-in-law made the cape for me, which I think looks cheesy enough that looks good. So there is Nacho Libre.